All right, this is Daniel from Sidestep Boxing. We got our boy here, Daniel Alacra El Alacran Lozano. How's everything going for you, man? Everything's going good, man. Just, we had a good training camp. We're still going. Um, I feel good for this fight. The last fight I had made up a little complications, you know. But uh, I feel ready for this fight, man. And I think it's going to be a good show. Now, now we know that uh, during your off time, man, uh, you had a new addition to the family, and we want to congratulate you on that. How, how does it feel like being the first time father going around? Uh, it feels good, man. Um, you know, having the, my little baby girl, she uh, motivates me to train hard. Um, so now every time, every time I, when I go to work, you know, I, sometimes I get frustrated at work, and it's like uh, I'm doing it for my baby girl. You know, when I hit the bags, training, I'm sparring. It's like I'm doing this for my baby girl. I see, I see her on the outside, so it's motivated me. I think that's the reason why it's gonna help me in the, in the, few, in the fights come, come up to come. You, know? you think you're gonna dedicate this next fight to your baby girl? Oh yeah, yes sir. Um, I'm actually supposed to have her name on my truck, so this fight's actually for her, and the, the fights after this are all before me. You know? That's awesome. Now I understand that you were undefeated. Uh, you were 10 and 0 before your your first 11 and 0 before your first loss. Um, how having your first loss? Um, how has that helped you in becoming and gaining up and uh, and becoming a future champ and motivated you? Um, it, it's it's it because uh, whenever you're holding an O, yeah, that zero, kind of going to ring, kind of. Uh, Trying to not trying to keep that zero, you know. Now, now that I got my first losses, you know, it's maybe go back to the drawing board, look at the things that I done wrong, things in the gym and in the fight. Um, it, to me, it's made me a better fighter. So now, now that I know I got a loss on my record, I'm not trying to keep it. Now I'm fighting me. I'm fighting what I what I actually do when I actually know. Because the last fight, then it wasn't me, man. It wasn't <laughs> you. Most people that, you know, I give props to Matthew. You know, he was a he was a hell of a fighter and stuff, but. You know, it was, I, I should have put on a better performance, but you know, that's all the past and stuff, and we're moving on to bigger and better things now. Yeah, now we understand that, you know, you're a person of faith. Um, yes. Anybody that sees your Facebook page, you know, we you get comments of faith and positive messages. Um, what can you say with a person of faith? Like, well, how does that motivate you to keep a continuing in this boxing career? Uh, you know, without, you know, like I say, man, with, through all things, uh, with Christ, through all, all things are possible through wisdom. You know, I, I try, you know, I don't, I'm, a, I'm a person that actually lives that Christian life, you know. I try to be a, a role model to the kids out in my community. I, I'm well known where I'm at, you know, and kids always ask me, like, you know, they want to be like me. And I always tell them, you know, the word of God, you know, God is the one that drives me to, you know, sometimes people ask questions like, why why did you lose? And if, if you, God was so good, why did you lose? Sometimes God allows things to happen in your life, so he wants to see how much faith and how much love you actually have for him. Right. You know, so living for Christ, man, it's, it's boxing can just disappear all of a sudden. And as, as long as I got Christ on my side, everything's going to be all right. You know? And uh, I'm going to ask you a controversial question right. here. You know, what can you say to the to the people who have criticized you, you being a Christian or a, a God fearing person um, in a sport of violence that obviously getting the KO is the best thing in life, you know, rather than going 12 rounds. What can you say to the people who criticize you and be like, oh man, how, is, how can this guy be in two, two different things, you know? Um, you know, I've actually had somebody tell me that before. Uh, some people actually, some denominations don't believe that boxing's a, a Christian sport. Um, I've never seen it in the Bible where it says it's not, you know, it doesn't talk about any aspect. God's given us talents, and it was like the story in the Bible when God's given every, them, them three guys talents, he gave one five, he gave one three, and gave one one. The one who had five, he went on to, to, to further his talents. The one who had three furthers his talents. The one who had one, he went to go bury his, because he got scared, he didn't know what to do with it. And God got mad at him and told him, you know, you, you didn't do nothing with it. You're, you're pretty much worthless. So if God's giving you a talent, whether it's boxing, go to school, become something, actually start in school August 1st. Oh, congratulations, college, man. You know, you always gotta have a backup. Another thing we tell our kids is, you gotta have an education. You know, boxing's not always promised. Uh, so, but anybody that criticizes me, you know, I just, I show them the love back, you know, because that's what I'm supposed to do. Sometimes you wanna get mad, the flesh wants to, you know, <laughs> curse them out, or just yeah. do something that you're not supposed to, but you know, Christ wants me to love him back and just say, you know what, just keep praying for him. And uh, we understand you're getting ready for your August 1st fight, uh, Telemundo, another Telemundo uh, televised fight with All-Star Boxing. Um, can you tell us a little bit of what you're fighting for this time? Um, I'm fighting for, obviously everybody knows I'm, you know, I got my baby girl and I say I'm fighting for her, but 
all glory goes to God. You know, every, every, every step of the way, you know, God's before everything. And um, I'm just trying to pursue my life, pursue my career to help my family out one day. God, God willing, you know, God, you know, if he wants me to go on the road, that's what's going to happen. You know, all I know is I got to get ready and I'll be prepared on this first. And uh, do you know, can you tell us anything about your opponent? I mean, uh, I really don't know much about him. I do, I do know that, you know, obviously he's a Mexican guy. He's probably going to, they say he's going to come right at me. And, uh, I'm sure he's gonna come to fight. You know, he's not gonna come sit down. He actually fought for the world title his last fight, and he lost. But uh, he's been in there with the world world champion already, so he's got a lot of he's got a lot of mental experience now just being in the ring with him. So it's gonna be a tough fight, but uh, we'll be ready, and I'm sure he'll be ready. And we'll see what happens. And I know that you have recently signed with All Star Boxing. Apparently, you're practically the only fighter in Florida. They do a lot of international. Uh, boxers, but you're the one in Florida. How did how did that make you feel signing with a big uh, international promotional companies? Well, it felt good because um, I know Ruben. I've known Ruben so for, um, for a long time since I was a kid. You know, and um, actually he's got like nine or eight 115 signed. You know, or he's got eight 115 fighters. You know, and it's like that's where I need to be because that's you know everybody knows small weight classes don't get really recognized and stuff. You know, to me they should because to me they're more entertaining. Right. But uh, that's just the way boxing is and. Um, being with Ruben is gonna be able to take me on to the next to the next level. I want to, you know, fight for a world title one day. All right. Well, thank you very much. This is Sidestep Boxing. We out.